Uh, let's summarize where we are. <coughs> we talked about uh, three big things today. We talked about frequent power laws, so that's Zipf's law and Mandelbrot's law. Uh, they are useful for telling, for describing the frequencies of words. They tell us how many times different words will occur in the corpus. And surprisingly, they are true across all languages, all natural uh, languages, and many of um, artificial languages. Uh, we talked about Heap's law. Heap's law describes how the vocabulary, the number of distinct terms, grows as a function of the uh, size of a chunk of text that you're reading. And uh, the implication there is it's going to go, it's going to grow as a square root um, pretty much always. So the big, um, the big consequence is your vocabulary is never going to level off. You're always going to get new words coming into the vocabulary and you can never stop growing it. You have to, whatever data structures you come up with as a search engine have to be able to cope uh, with that. Uh, we talked about clumping, and clumping, remember the aardvark? Right. There it is again. Uh, it's an extremely unlikely word, and yet we see it so many times in this lecture, and that's because once you mention it, uh, it will keep occurring again and again and again. So word frequencies are really like rare diseases, but infectious, highly infectious. Uh, and we talked about estimating uh, the index size.